What's going on guys? It's your boy Jesse D123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to be going over 15 new features that were added to franchise mode in MLB The Show 22. Drop a like if you guys are excited man and without further ado let's hop right into today's video. I just want to state this right now. We're just covering this for news purposes. I'm not the biggest franchise player so I can't go into super deep detail. Um, as far as what exactly everything means but we're going to be going over some points and then we're going to be playing some clips from the um, live stream as well so that will cover it in more and more detail hopefully you guys can understand that a little bit more but we got over 15 new features actually it's a total of 17 features so let me throw the graphic up on your guys' screen so the first new feature coming to franchise mode in mlb the show 22 is max contract terms the the max contract terms are expanded to 15 years so if i if i'm not mistaken um in the stream they did mention that this is only uh, before it was only 10 years so now they increase it by five more years which is cool the second new feature is that the max aav has been increased to 35 million per year so that's the max amount of um that's the max amount of money a player can make per year which is cool i think they did say in the prior prior years it's only been 30 million so 30 million so they increased that by 5 million as well moving on to the third new point so we have player contract demands have been adjusted three-year weighted war moving on to the fourth new feature is boost in overall relief pitcher contract values so let me queue up the video so hopefully it can explain for, explain to you guys a little bit more as you can see on the screens here, uh, these are two side-by-side -side comparisons. Uh, one with a player, Freddie Freeman here, with a contract of a one-year deal at $35 million a year. Another one with this term at 15 years. Now beyond that, beyond that, one of the things that I'm really excited about, again, is our player contract demands. And one of the reasons I'm excited about that is because there's some confusion about why contracts are different on every sim. And that's really exciting because it takes performance into account. And so if a player has a poor performing season, his contract demands and his contract is obviously going to be less than it would be if he had a really strong year running up into his free agency. So I think that's realistic. It represents what's happening in real baseball. All right, the fifth new feature is two-way players will now be able to DH every day they do not pitch. I hope this feature rolls over to Diamond Dynasty because it will be super, super clutch. The sixth new feature is two-way players will now recover pitching stamina while they DH. Another feature I hope rolls over to Diamond Dynasty. Now moving on to the seventh new feature. Pitchers that have a secondary position can become a two-way player if they are the best option to DH. Let me read that one more time. Pitchers that have a secondary position can become a two-way player if they are the best option to DH. All right, guys, I have a quiz for you. On the top of your head, can you think of anybody else that this applies to other than Shohei Otani? Me? I can't. I really can't. I just think this is only all these new rules right here because of Otani. He's literally um, changed the game in real life, and now he's changing the game in digital as well, which is crazy. Um, let me queue up the video to going, going over this in a little bit more detail. Well, since we have this guy on the cover that we should respect his talents, we wanted to make sure that we were making all possible improvements to the two-way player. Uh, two-way players will now be able to DH every day they don't pitch. Two-way players will now recover pitching stamina while they DH. And pitchers that have a secondary position can become a two-way player if they are the best option at DH. That's fantastic. What's also to remember here is that this is for season mode based logics. This does not carry over to Diamond Dynasty. In Diamond Dynasty, Shohei Otani, it's either a pitcher card or a hitter card. You can't use both. But in season-based modes, you can now use Shohei Otani the exact same way the Angels did, and you don't have to worry about stamina being this issue, so his stats are so low. The eighth new feature is that players now only sign during the exclusive signing period if they have a very high interest in re-signing with the team. Interesting, right? Now we're moving on to the ninth new feature. Free agents will weigh offers longer and sign throughout the entire offseason, reflecting current trends. So honestly, this seems pretty straightforward. I'm not going to queue into the next to a video explaining this. It just seems they're trying to make it a little bit more realistic, which is always cool, man. Always cool when they reflect like authenticity in the game, which is really, really dope, man. So let's move on to the, what is the eighth, nine? Let's move on to the 10th new feature, guys. Now this, this, this image, obviously all these images are on your guys' screen. This is a lot, right? We're going to be going over every single one right here. Um, exactly what it means and everything. I'm going to throw a video after explaining this. So let's get right into it. So I think I said it's the 10th new feature. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. The 10th new feature is arbitration and renewable decisions are now based on player metric. 
The 11th new feature is logic changes now will improve CPU tendencies to keep players that will have value to the organization. The 11th new fee or 12th new feature is value players are now more likely to be protected on the 40 man prior to the rule five draft using player metric. The 13th new feature is logic improvements to the 40 man roster construction. The 14th new feature is potential and age for the top 100 prospects and more are accurate. So let's queue up the video to explain this in a little bit more detail. So here you can see a side by side comparison from our old logic versus our new logic. And that old logic, that is not an inclusive list. That list continued on. That's how many players were signing in the exclusive period. If you look at our new logic, you can see now only a few players signed the exclusive period. And then again, flipping over here on the page to our offseason free agency improvements where our players would sign throughout the offseason. If you look from December 1st with our old logic versus December 1st new logic, you're going to see that there's a lot more high rated players that are still on the board. One of the things our fans have always asked for is they wanted to have a dynamic offseason. They wanted to have dynamic roster logic. And what we're seeing now, that we've changed it. it. It no longer is based just on potential or overall. It's based on player metric. And we're seeing some really good results with teams that are either non-tendering players in the offseason or holding on to them. Another addition here that I can jump into is that I mean, the player metric is now used to help you know, protect value players when it comes to the Rule 5 draft. So in the past, you know, some guys would slip through that maybe you shouldn't see on the, on the Rule 5 draft. And, and with the player metric and with the changes we've made, you know, it's very rare that you'll see someone of significant value be in the Rule 5 draft. The 15th new feature coming to franchise is that pitcher stamina will be accurately reflected in the postseason. Now, honestly, this is something that's really cool that I've seen throughout uh, the live stream, how they were like organizing it. They're showing you guys everything um, before the season starts, while the season's going. And now we're talking about the postseason, which is really, really cool. So they're attacking every, I guess, stage in the whole MLB season, which is cool. Um, the 16th new feature is that the transaction log has been expanded and stores four times more information. And the 17th and last new feature is that separate injury sliders for simulation and in-game. So guys, there you have it. Those are 15 new features or 17 new features coming to the franchise mode in MLB The Show 22. What do you guys think? Honestly, this these seem like some real promising new features. Um, I can't really speak from experience because I'm not a big franchise player. If you guys are big franchise players and you guys are watching today's video, what do you guys think about this? Now, when I was watching the feature premiere, I seen in the chat, a lot of people didn't really like all of this stuff because what they really wanted to see was an online franchise mode. Now guys, I'm here to say, I'm pretty sure SDS is working on that. If it's not coming later on in the year for MLB The Show 22, it's going to be a big talking point in MLB The Show 23 about online franchise. And if not, I honestly don't know what to say, but I think that with the addition of co-op, they, they 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 can see that like people want to play with their friends. So imagine you can do online franchise with your friends or just against other people, which would be really, really cool, guys. So what do you guys think, though? Again, I'm not a big franchise player myself. I just stick to the Diamond Dynasty or a big March October player myself. Again, I just stick to the Diamond Dynasty side of things. But I just thought I'd cover these new features for you guys, especially for the people that actually play these modes. But I appreciate you guys for watching today's video, man. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy, Jesse D123. And I'm out.